This year, the baths in Lourdes, like so much else, have been closed as a result of the pandemic. But that doesn't stop us thinking about being there. In my mind's eye, I often find myself leaning against the low wall by the grotto, with the sound of the river behind me harmonising with the low hum of the pilgrims passing around the grotto, rubbing their hands along the old rock, sitting on the steel benches looking up or around and praying. The other morning I again found myself imagining the crowds coming through the great arches of the esplanade and seeing there a, small, a frail, smallish girl, evidently on her own, self-detached, jumping and skipping as if avoiding puddles, not looking left or right, but hurrying with expectation, excitement towards the grotto. I saw her kneel on the spot where Bernadette used to kneel, and I saw her look around, check her surroundings, and find her bearings, gazing up at the rock, then across to where the crowds were passing the spring. I saw her bow her head, take out a rosary, oblivious to the crowds, to the shushing hospitality stewards, to the officiating priests, to the people leaning on the barriers. After a few minutes, she bent down and wiped her hands on the marble. She rubbed her face and then looked at her hands as if she were expecting something else. I saw her make the sign of the cross and walk rapidly away from the grotto, downstream, past the smoky flickering candles, on towards the baths. She joined the throng there, sat down, still very much in her own thoughts, and I watched her shuffling along with the others, and slowly but surely, as if she had woken up, she started to look around, to join in, singing and praying with the others. She had become part of what began as an endless queue of faceless humanity, but which quietly became a murmuring procession as it made its way, bit by bit, towards the copper doors of the baths, until eventually she was summoned to go through the blue and white canvas curtains into a changing cubicle. I recalled what it is like inside, welcomed with a smile, shown to a chair, looking around, wondering, what next? Others there are already changed, some sitting deep in their own thoughts, saying their prayers, others looking around, looking for eye contact, for a quiet word of reassurance. A strange cocktail of individual acts of prayer as well as a collective act, being part of something rather extraordinary, a mix of humility and generosity, of giving and receiving, the help of showing where clothes should be hung, helping the apparently able and the obviously less able, those that were being helped, actually giving far more than they ever realised. And then that sudden flutter of being summoned into the bathing area itself, another moment of what am I doing here? Quiet, guiding words, helping hands, holding hands for safety, holding hands in prayer. That private moment on the top step, to toes curled in that, on that cold, wet marble, when gently the mind is moved by prayer, away from the physical environment and the eyes are fixed on the statue of Our Lady, when you're invited to pray from the depth of your heart for whomever you wish and to share those prayers and intercessions with those around you. Then being helped down into the water, cold of course, that moment of shock and surprise, but also that extraordinary feeling of joining the millions who have taken those steps before, the shocked immersion in the mountain spring water made holy by the endless passage of patient pilgrims, one after the other, taking and offering their many sufferings and joys with them, joining them all together in that water, sanctifying it. And then, on stepping out, that extraordinary warmth and the joy from the feeling that you too are joining this throng, that you and they are one, that long litany of good, brave, giving people showing courage and extraordinary humility, discovering their common humanity, stripped of everything but finding everything, together both in prayer and through this obscure immersion. Then, out into the bright sunshine, blinking, glowing, full of grace, and reflecting the smile of the lady as she said to Bernadette, go to the spring, 
drink a bit and wash yourself there. We may not actually be in Nerd this year, but we know that the spring water is running clear, forever bathing us in holiness.